Hey everyone, it's your buddy and pal, Karnak, Star Wars Armada Explained. We're going to be looking at the new fleet command that comes in Rebellion of the Rim. It is, TAKE A FACE OF ACTION! There's an exclamation point, you have to say it with excitement. So, Take A Face of Action, I love the art on this thing. Uh, how do you know it fits into the fleet command upgrade slot? Bottom left hand corner of the card will show you that. On the opposite side you will see its point cost, which is 6 points. Take evasive action is unique, means you can only have one of them in your fleet. So take evasive action, it reads, at the start of the ship phase, you may discard this card or spend a navigation token. If you do, until the end of the round, each friendly ship may increase the last yaw value of its current speed by one during its determined course step. Guys, like with everything else I say in Rebellion of the Rim, this card is amazing. It is so good. I love it. Um, so this card, uh, I again, don't have all the cards here on Vassal, so I'll explain what, what stuff is as I move along. So take evasive action. It's so good. Let's start with who can even equip this? Well, uh, the Super Star Destroyer, most of the variants of that can equip uh, the, the fleet command for it. Um, the only Super Star Destroyer variant that can't is the Assault Prototype. Does not get any fleet command slots. Uh, the Cry Moon gets a fleet command slot that you can equip this into. Otherwise, for your other Star Destroyers, you need to bring Chimera, uh, which allows you to equip a fleet command into the slot. Uh, for the Rebel Alliance, they have the Peltas, which have the uh, the Fleet Command slot in there. And then if you do bring the new Liberator title, or uh, yeah, the Liberator title for the CR90, it allows you to equip the Fleet Command to that card as well. Go check out that video if you want to know what that card does. So that's everyone who can take evasive action. So let's walk through the steps of how this card works. And actually, before I go into into that, I want to read some FAQ. Now, this card has not been given an official FAQ, just like, for example, Intensify Firepower has not. However, the previous wordings of these cards are on all the other fleet commands, which means that, by extension, what their wording says also extends to this card, which is, if the ship with this upgrade equipped is destroyed after resolving this effect, Friendly ships are still affected until the end of round. Meaning, if this was equipped to a Pelta and it flew in front of a Star Destroyer, as long as it resolved it at the start of the ship phase, even if it then subsequently blew up that round, all of the ships that are friendly that activate still get the benefit of this car. They wanted to clarify that that is the case with that. Okay. Let's walk through the timing. So the timing of this card is at the start of the ship phase. So remember you have the command phase, ship phase, squadron phase, and status phase. So the command phase is where you set all your command dials. You get done with that. Start of the ship phase, that's where you can say before any ships activate, aha, I have this fleet command. I want to discard this card, which means if it's discarded, you can't resolve this command, you know, no further after than just this round or if you have a navigation token on that ship you can take that token and you can spend it and say i am spending this navigation token to resolve take evasive actions effect and as it says here if you do until the end of the round as we've determined each friendly ship may increase the last yaw value of its current speed by one during its determined course step. Now there is some interesting, a little caveat in there. I'll touch on that. Let's go over the basics. So we're going to say that this uh, Imperial class Star Destroyer is traveling at speed three. <coughs> now a Star Destroyer, when it's traveling at speed three, if you look here at its nav chart in the bottom left of that card, I've got blown up. You can see that it gets no yaw on one, one yaw on two, and one yaw on three. Now, not taking into account any other navigational effects or anything else going on, if this Star Destroyer was to normally try to turn at speed 3, you know, it can only do something like this. 
But you can see there, that's not very turny. That's, that's very much the opposite of being able to turn real well. But if this card is in effect at the last yaw, voint, yaw joint of his speed, which is speed 3, you could turn that joint an extra click, like so. So that he can now turn 1, 2, and 3. So you do get a little bit of a sharper turn on there. Now, when you do start to combine this with other effects, such as if you did reveal a navigation command, now you can do something. So, uh, for example, this is the natural yaw of wanting to turn left. Well, now you can use your natural yaw from the dial, the navigation dial, put a click there, and then use take evasive action, put a click there. You can do a sharp left hand turn now. Or, say you don't want to put that extra click on there, you want to put it down here on your first joint. And again, that's straight, that's with one click, and now you can do taste of a, take evasive action, put another click on there, you get an even sharper turn. I mean, this card is fantastic. I mean, I love this. I mean, I'll, I'll let it out there. Star Destroyers with this fleet command are crazy. You don't have to take Moff Gergerod anymore to watch them Tokyo Drift places. Because just with a navigation dial and take evasive action, at speed 2, you can get a double click on Yaw 1, double click on Yaw 2, and these things are curving all over the place. It's fantastic. And not only with that, but if you are taking the Super Star Destroyer with Moth Gergerod, and take evasive action, a Super Star Destroyer can now do some crazy jank. And I know this kind of get off tangent, but you can see there it can now do something like this. If it utilizes Moff Gergerod, the navigation dial, and take evasive action. It can do a sharp left-hand turn. That's terrifying. <laughs> That's just ridiculous with the Super Star Destroyer. All right. So that, in a nutshell, is take evasive action. Again, whatever your current ship speed is, that's where it gives you the extra click. Some ships that don't benefit from this card, Arcadens, because Arcadens always get speed or yaw 2 on their last joint. Doesn't help them. Doesn't help CR90s. Uh, most ships at speed 1 usually get the double click. Um, so usually it's not helping out so much with that. Uh, there is one thing I want to point out with, actually there's two things, I just remembered one. Two things I want to point out with Take Evasive Action. So, how does this card work with something like Engine Tax or Quantum Storm, or the special rule maneuver in like Rift Ambush? You, you might be thinking, oh, that's great, I can use it for that. Well, yes and no. So, remember, Take Evasive Action, of, uh, it used to increase the last yaw value of its current speed by one. When it's saying its current speed, it is meaning that's ship, that ship's physical speed dial. So if that ship's physical speed dial, for example, is set at speed two or higher, and it is conducting a speed one maneuver, such as what's granted by engine techs, a speed one maneuver is speed one, period. Meaning that if your ship's physical speed dial is two or three or four, you cannot use take evasive action on your speed one maneuver. Now, if your speed dial is set to speed one, you can use it on the speed one maneuver because it is now the speed one maneuver is now the same speed as your ship's speed. I know that may sound a little confusing, but that is how this card resolves. It's not for every maneuver that you make, otherwise it would say that. It is specifically saying its current speed, which its current speed is always the ship's physical speed dial, what it is set to. So again, to say it one more time, if you conduct a speed one maneuver, such as like what is granted by Quantum Storm or Engine Tex, if the ship speed is 2 or higher, T can't be used. If the ship speed is 1, T can be used. Now again, make sure you're following any card effects that are doing that. For example, I believe Quantum Storm or even Rift Ambush. There's some um, limitations where you can't nav 
at all. So again, make sure you're still coinciding with any card, uh, other card effects. Don't just uh, just think that everything can potentially just use this all the time. So again, order of process. One more thing I do want to touch on. I want to touch on the damage card. Where is it at here? Do do do. Thrust control malfunction down here at the bottom. So it says the yaw value for the last adjustable joint at your current speed is reduced by one. So you were thinking, oh, well that seems like that's going to cancel out, take evasive action. Well, not necessarily. So thrust control malfunction applies that uh, yaw reduction first. First thing it's applied. And we have that in the FAQ. It says right here, if I can find it, here we go. An adjustable joint is a joint with a yaw value of one or two. A joint with a yaw value of dash is not affected. This card affects the yaw value printed on the speed chart. That value can still be increased by the navigation command or other card effects. This card only affects maneuvers executed at the ship's current speed. The number on its speed dial again relating back to some of the things that we talked about meaning that for example if that star destroyer is going speed three and it has the stress control malfunction so yes it would take its click to zero but then you could do take evasive action and put that click back on um or for example again the the super star destroyer if you want to use t with that again its natural value is already neg is already neutral. It can't be reduced into negatives at all. Meaning you could just put take evasive action and use it normally. Uh, thrust control malfunction won't have any. It only takes place. Uh, it, it resolves before, and then again you can add any stuff afterwards to maneuver your ship. Okay. So that's take evasive action. As far as I'm aware, there's no other crazy interactions or anything else going on there. So I want to make sure I was pointing all that out. Uh, but of course, if you feel like I missed anything or got anything wrong, please be sure to point it out. Let me know. Appreciate your comments. And hey, I will catch you all next time.